Hello guys, in today's video, well, my, sorry about the intro, but let me start over. Well, just forget it. Alright, but. <laughs> just forget it. <laughs> Hold the light for me, Elena. Um, that's my cousin holding the light. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but in today's video, I'm going to show you if you're female i say you're female sorry guys i'm just off track exactly <laughs> i'm Get gonna it. show you if you're long tail grass lizard or your long tail whatever you want to call them but they got the longest tail and i just call them long tail lizards but we're gonna show you if they're male or female well the male i don't know if i'm gonna dig in a cage probably not but the male he got like a little fat bump on his tail, as you can see, that little fat little bump. He's the one on but, the window. Yeah, he's the one on the window right there on that fat bump. Sorry, I had to go in there like that. And my female, she don't got a flat, like, that fat bump. The female's right there on the leaves. But my male do. But, like I was going to do is... That's one. That's the one of the only ways that I know. And plus, females are fatter than males. And plus, um, you will see some dots on your female. The dots, the dots on a female are bigger than the dots on a male, because um, those are like kind of egg slots or whatever. The male don't have many of those. I don't ever think that's what they are, but some people say they are. But if you flip a female lizard over, going with geckos, house geckos, and all those lizards, if you flip them over, you'll see like a little flat on your female. You won't see no two testicles or a fat part on your um, female. But the only um, thing that'll be on your female is just a flat part on like the lower belly. Yeah. Thanks for the lighting. Um, and if you gonna um hold your lizard, please hold them by their rib, not by their rib super hard, but in the middle of them, between both of their legs in the middle, hold them there. Don't hold them by their face. Just hold them in the middle, cause if you hold them by their tail, the tail will break off. They will let go, thinking you're a predator. And if this video end and I'm still going, I'll make another one because my space on my phone is low. So I'll make a t continue video. Hopefully it don't die or nothing. And what did you win? Don't show my business. Hmm. It ain't their business. But I recommend doing this if your lizard is pregnant. Or something. I recommend making this little container. I got two. Um, if you still got that little box your lizard came in or a little circle thing, I got mine from um Pet Supply. So yeah, it came in that little circle thing. And this little square is basically a like a little place for it to lay its eggs. Or it can lay its eggs or hide or sleep. And it's like the little water bowl. I do got to change this water. They drunk it all played in and stuff but here i made another circle thing uh, this is the thing my lips came in i just cut open i cut open the top part like a little square on the top let me see if you guys can see yeah and i put a little stick in there so they can climb in and out uh, she been sitting on there for a while. I hope, uh, I wonder if she's laying her eggs or something. I kind of see, let me see, I can kind of see a little part. Let me see if y'all can see it. Yeah, I think she's getting ready to, but I'll let you, I'll keep you updated on that. About if she laying the eggs or not, mm -hmm. but she climbs in there. She digs. If your female starts to dig a lot, lot, 
or just dig, play around, dig, play around, dig. She's pregnant. And plus she's fat, and I don't even feed them that much. I feed them wax worms, and yeah. But, um, this got a little cut on the side. I cut it. It originally was like one of those things you pack, like a little sandwich thing. Then you just cut the side. Then you put grass in there. And then. You grab some warm water, not too hot. You grab super hot water, right? And then you put a, little, some, a lot of cold water in there and make warm water. Mm -hmm. Then you just spray around the tank. This this was originally some Oreo bottle, but then I rinsed all the Oreo out and started using it. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm about to make another video, but I got to, after I post this video on YouTube, I got deleted out my gallery, but we'll still be on YouTube, so, yeah, see you later, make sure you like and subscribe my video, and remember, the male got that bump by his tail, that male got that bump, the male got that bump. I mean, um, yeah, that male got that bump. The female do not have anything right there. And yeah, and see y'all on, um, see y'all on, on the next tutorial or whatever. See ya. I command the phone to turn off.